Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, to the topic today, uh, you know, the Muslims trying trying to uh, make uh, uh, to enforce their Sharia law in Kansas, and uh, we encourage everybody from that state to do uh, vote no for this uh, uh, try Muslims they are trying to do there. I think they have the support of Obama and the governor maybe in their side. Sound fishy, but anyway, you know. Uh, for those who do not know what this law means, because many, many Americans, they are very tolerant, and because of that, they don't know really what this means. Uh, they think, uh, you know, I saw a video made by uh, Muslims. Uh, he's saying that if you don't, uh, uh, if you say no to the Sharia law, you are going, to, it means you are saying no to the Christian law, and you are saying no to the Jewish law. The idiot do not know that we don't have such a thing to practice in USA. The law we follow in here is the law of the state, not the law of a church or the law of the Jews. Idiot, liar, he's trying to fool you. So what the Muslim trying to sell out, that if you stop us from practicing our law, you cannot practice your law. Don't worry about it, Abdul, okay? Don't worry. The law says no foreign law is going to practice. Don't worry about that. Secondly, he's trying to make it as about if it's about economy. If you stop foreign law to be practiced in your country, uh, then you cannot have really uh, the uh, business doing good, which is very false and stupid because right now we have such a law exist, but it's about business that, you know, business deals have to go by the law of, uh, there is many, many issues regarding, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a trade contract, uh, you know, it's based in the, in the agreement, like, uh, you know, you can put in the agreement, uh, you know, uh, this agreement, let us say, it's done in uh, in different land, in different country in England. So, if the two countries have agreement about the, their law, they can they can uh, practice their law in different country. Or if the agreement have uh, uh, you know like a different headquarter, or uh, uh, if the agreement done uh, in different country, according to that law, then that law will practice. Which means, if I sign a, an agreement with you in USA and uh, we agree that the law to judge this uh, law is going this agreement is going to be usa law it's mean you agreed and that's it so those all the problems is solved already by law because people they are doing practicing uh, a trade business uh, always and nobody allowed anyway foreign law to be practiced and what we are talking about in here is not about trade law you idiot we are talking about uh, 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 you know uh, religious law and specifically about enforcing religion on people, because this is what Islam is about. So today, I'm, you know, I chose this uh, picture of two happy uh, uh, wife and husband, you know, uh, uh, very nice picture of uh, two people. You can, you can tell they are living happily and they are, uh, you know, nice uh, gentlemen and nice lady together. And you can tell, uh, a, a good happiness in their face. Now, uh, in Islam, if we want to have such a picture, we are going to have different view. We are going to have, we are going to have this face. Uh, and you know, some some they might say, well, there is uh, uh, in America there is men who defeat their wives, and uh, you know they are, you know they are bad men. Not only Muslim men do that. This is true, but you know what? In America, if you do such a thing, you go to jail and you are no Christian. Because where in the Bible it says you beat your wife, you, you know, if, if you do that, you are an idiot. And then you deserve to go to jail. This is, this is what the law says. So having Islamic Sharia law, it means that you can beat your wife legally, officially, and uh, your wife, she cannot even call the police because it is your right to practice your law, to practice your religion. And as long you agree that this law can be practiced, you know, it means that law can be practiced. Very simple. That's it. This is Islamic law. Man have the right to beat his wife. Now, somebody want to say to me, oh, the Muslims, they will not ask for this. Wait, 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 wait. They are asking for Islamic law, not uh, uh, something specific. Like, they are not asking... Uh, to allow them to pray because we allow them to pray anyway. Everybody is allowed to practice his religion freely in this country as long as he is harming no one. They are asking for the whole system. The whole system together, not one thing. So 
if we will practice this, it means a man, he can beat his wife and she cannot complain. I'm not going to mention, uh, like, you know, just uh, last week, uh, Taliban, they poisoned 140 girls in Afghanistan for a very simple reason, because girls, they went to school. According to Islamic law, women should not go to school. And that's why Taliban, they are really forcing their law on the Muslims. You can go right now and search for this. I'm not making things up. Just just search in the news and you will see tons of them they be, because they do that always, you know. Uh, they put poison in a school, in the water, in the etc. So when, when girls, they drink, they, they die. And what is the what is the problem? You know, like they do it all over. 120 girls, 130, 60 girls, 140 girls. The whole school almost die, you know. And what what is the what is the problem? What is the problem? Because simply, those uh, uh, girls they are uh, you know uh, going to school. They should not go to school. This is against Islam. Now, somebody might say to me, those Muslims are extreme. Like, okay, are you, aren't you saying Islamic law? Are you saying it's, uh, different law? This is the law. This is not extreme. Extreme to you, I understand. But for them, this is the law. They cannot force them not to go to school because now Taliban, they are not in the government. So what they do? They, they put poison in the, in the water to kill everybody who go to school. So everybody will stop going to school. And why they are doing that? You think you think the Muslims are not uh, uh, not following Allah when they do that? Absolutely, they are following Allah, because simply this is what their religion teaching them. Those who don't obey Islam, they deserve death. Very simple. How you kill them doesn't matter. Bomb, uh, uh, you know, uh, poison. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you kill them. Just kill them. That's all. And I'm just speaking about one side, like, you know, because many things they have to follow. Inheritance, women in Islam, she cannot inherit equal to a man. And this is in the Quran. Go and read the chapter, Quran, chapter 4, verse number uh, uh, 9 and 10 and 11 and 12. Every man inherit twice. This, this is all I have to follow. It's not only just one thing. Uh, women, she cannot even divorce her husband. The man he can divorce. This is only, I'm just talking about women. I'm not talking about other things because, you know, Islamic law means that even you as a Christian, you have no existence. Islamic law means you, you are a second, a third citizen. Atheists have no right even in Islam because atheists should be killed. So when we speak about Islamic law, we are speaking about a tragedy. And they try to say it out to us as it is a need, you know. You cannot, make, uh, you cannot practice, uh, 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 com you know, like a business. You cannot, as if the world cannot without Islam that exist. Actually, you know, you know, Muslims, that we are the one who is doing best with business, and we are the one who is successful, not you. If you have no oil, you have nothing. If you have no oil, you have nothing. So the Muslims, they come with this organization uh, in Kansas, trying to enforce their Sharia law, uh, and try to fool us that, you know, it's a must. We need it. You know, you cannot even practice your Christianity if we don't have Sharia Allah. Shut up, you idiot. Liars and deceivers. Uh, I will show you this story, and this is from my book, you know. Uh, you know, I have a big section in my book about women's rights in Islam. I chose one thing. I, I, have, I have a lot of things, actually, uh, uh, speaking about women, proving what, how ugly Islam is treating the women. And I'm not, not picking up my cherries, by the way, because this is just what it is. Now, in this story, and you can go read the translation of Muslims, by the way, Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 72. And we can go right now uh, and see the Muslim translation, if you don't like my translation. You will see that the women, uh, according to this hadith, the Prophet of Islam, when she came to him to complain about what her husband did to her, Aisha, she said, she looked at the women and she said, and I'm, I'm quoting Aisha what she said now. Huh? She said, look at her. Her skin is greener than her clothes. Hear the story in front of us. If you read with me. Uh, after Aisha, she said that her clothes is greener than her. Uh, her skin is greener than her clothes. Uh, about this woman who is coming to complain about her husband beating her. Muhammad, he told her, you know what? If your intention... Huh? 
to go back to your ex-husband because Muhammad he come with a very genius rule and this is part of Islamic law that if your husband divorced you three times and he want to get you back he, you can, he cannot get you back until the woman she goes sleep with different one so what this woman she did following the Sharia Allah and this is what Sharia Allah will provide you with solution which is going to be a disaster this woman she got divorced from her husband she want to get married back to him huh? and she did marry that to do what Sharia Allah says you marry a man, he divorces you, you go back to your husband. It sounds like it, huh? Read the story. So now she is, she don't want to sleep with him. So Muhammad saying to her, you know what? If your intention, if your intention is to remarry, uh, read with me. If your intention that it's to go back to your ex-husband, huh? uh, for you to remarry Rifa, unless Abdul Rahman had sexual intercourse with you, so Muhammad in here, after the husband he did beat her, the wife is beaten, her skin is greener than her clothes, still Muhammad insists that this husband, after all this beating, you should open your legs for him. Sorry for using this language, but this is how it is. This man should be able to have you. You cannot prevent him from having you. It's a rape. So Muhammad is taken aside with this Muslim who did beat his wife until her clothes or her skin became greener than her clothes. And what is the issue about the women? She didn't want to sleep with him. So not only he allowed him to beat the women, in the top of that, he is asking him to rape her. And he is telling her he had the right to do so. And you are telling me Islamic Sharia, is that Allah? What is that? This guy is creating things up to his mind, this Muhammad. This is not a law. This is not justice. This is, you know, a woman, she don't want to sleep with him. Why do you want to force her? Marriage is about agreement. Not in Islam. In Islam, you go into agreement, you cannot leave it. Always it's in the hand of the man. Actually, many of the girls in Islam, they get married in a very early age, which means she, they are not even part of the agreement. They are not even part of um, the, the male he can provide his daughter. Huh? He can give out. Let me show you. This is their Islamic text. The man he can give out his daughter as if she is a goat. And the girl she is not part of the agreement, which means he will not even ask her. The Muslim they say to you, this is not true. Well, who did, did they ask Aisha when Muhammad did marry Aisha if she agree or not? She was six years old. So when a Muslim they come to us and speak about law i say to them try not to be smart with us because we are smarter than you and we will not hesitate muslims to expose your non-profit organization your non-profit book your non-profit god teaching because everything in your religion is filthy it's ugly it's disgusting so if you live any state, not only in Kansas, like now they are they are trying to do the, the Muslim trying to enforce their Sharia law in, in Texas. I'm sure they would try that to do that everywhere. Always, always, wherever you go, say no to Sharia law. If you want, if you want the women not to inherit equal to, to men, then vote yes for Sharia law. If you don't women to have their right, if you don't even as a man, like what about you as a man? You as a man in Islam, you have no right, you are nothing, you are a mosquito. They can smash you anytime. You don't follow Islam, they cut your head in a second. Don't think that it's only about, you know, the, Muhammad, he gave the upper hand for men because he, they are the men who they will fight for him. He have no problem with abusing the women. But if you stand against him, even if you are a man, he is going to smash you. Muhammad the beast, he have no mercy. Sharia Allah says, if you don't fast in Ramadan, you go to jail and they will beat you. They will lash you 100 times. If you drink beer, they will lash you 100 times. So what if you are a male? Just for drinking beer. By the way, uh, uh, cocaine is halal in Islam. Beer is not. Hmm? Muslims have no problem with raving a woman. She is not a Muslim, but they don't eat pork. Muslims have no problem to steal the money of a Jew or a Christian or an atheist, but they don't eat pork. They are very decent people. So be careful and always say no to such a satanic, evil, disgusting, religion. Christ is Lord and see you in more videos.